Before we begin, it's worth reiterating that Endrick, the Brazilian wonder kid who's been lighting up social media feeds for some time now, is just 15 years old. He's so young that he isn't allowed to sign a senior contract with his club, Palmeiras. He's so young that he's still growing and will be for a few years. But the Athletics' Nick Miller wanted to see what the fuss was about and had a first watch of Endrick at the Mondial Football Montegu, a tournament for youth football that's just taken place in France, in which most of the teams are made up of under-16 players. So, is Endrick the next Brazilian star of the game? Despite every sensible instinct cautioning against overhyping a 15-year-old, after watching Endrick, you find yourself unable to do anything but admire his prodigious talent. By the time of the final of Montego tournament, with his Brazil taking on Argentina, he already had four goals in three games to his name, including making a series of England players look foolish when he slalomed through them to score in the final group match. It was more than a little reminiscent of Michael Owen's goal against Argentina at the 1998 World Cup, certainly in the way a physically unimposing player scared the life out of more brawny opponents. The move began when he took advantage of a loose touch by Arsenal's Ethan Nwaneri and set off down the left, before chopping inside to beat Zach Abbott of Nottingham Forest, and driving into the space opening before him outside the area, thrashing the ball home with his right foot. And it's worth pointing out at this stage that Endrick is left-footed. That of course only added to his reputation ahead of the final. In that game, the Argentinians tried to double up on him and attempted to knock him off his game, frequently quite literally. But despite that, in just the second minute, Endrick opened the scoring, running through on goal, charging down a goalkeeper's clearance and capitalising on a lucky ricochet that flew into the net. Not a classic goal, no, but one that nevertheless represented one of the reasons Endrick is so highly rated, his relentlessness pressing opponents into mistakes even that early in the game. That was also the case for Brazil's second goal, which made the score 2-1. Endrick started an attack down the left, then sped into the area, only to be taken out by Facundo Gonzalez. It wasn't a threatening position, and Endrick would probably have been too close to the byline to attempt a shot himself, but the danger was such that the defender panicked and gave away a penalty that would be converted into the game's decisive goal. In an interview with The Athletic in March 2022, the player described his style of play to Nick Miller, more evidence of which would be on display in France. I'll always fight, he said. I'll be persistent and try until the last minute I'm in the game. I never give up. I pressure defenders. I run more than anyone else on the pitch. For more evidence of that, we went back to an under-20s match in January between Palmeiras and Real Quemes, and a sequence which began with Endrick forcing an opponent into an error. He then rushed the defender into a pass that he then intercepts, before turning and knocking the ball past another defender in one movement and accelerating away. Another opponent approaches and looks set to win the ball, but Endrick is too quick. He knocks it to the defender's left and runs around his right, collecting the ball near the six-yard box as the goalkeeper advances. And of course, he delicately dinks it over him into the net. Quite a brilliant finish. Other Endrick goals have also drawn attention, like the overhead kick he scored in the Copinha, a Brazil youth tournament that prompted praise from Gary Lineker. But this one, against Real Aquimes, best encapsulates all of Endrick's qualities. Relentless pressing, pace, close control and fine finishing. He essentially conjured a goal from thin air, creating and finishing the chance all on his own, exhibiting early signs of a trait shared by the most elite modern forwards. In the previous game against Argentina, Endrick and a couple of teammates celebrate the first goal for so long that they hold play up by a good minute, visibly irking their opponents. He's clearly still raw, his decision-making is sometimes a little off, and he looks like he's playing a lot on instinct. So when he's given time to think about things, he can be less effective. Two minutes after that first goal against Argentina, Endrick was sent clear once again, but despite leaving his markers for dead, he scuffed a shot straight at the keeper and wasted the chance. There were also little moments of devilment and aggravation as he got under his opponent's skin. A sign of immaturity, perhaps, or an overly combative playing personality? And he was also substituted before the end of the final, before it descended into a brawl between the two sets of players. He returned at full time to lift the trophy with his teammates and collect both the Player of the Tournament and Top Scorer awards. So, we've seen hyped youngsters before, and not all of them make it. Actually, few of them do, because talent alone isn't enough. But Hendrick's ability stands out in a way that makes sober caution very difficult indeed.
If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.